first off thank you for clicking on my video this is the babeless pro barbology case and i've been looking at different cases different book bags what i really wanted was something that i could carry on my back so i'm not just holding it in my arm um tiring out my arm um we're about to take a look in it right now there's two compartments the upper compartment and a lower compartment that's going to hold the bulk of your tools so this is the lower compartment that's going to hold the bulk of your tools this is how I like to lay it out just so I could fit everything. So when I'm using this, I don't need, I'm not forgetting anything. I could take this anywhere and do basically any haircut. Okay, so now this is the top area and it doesn't hold much, but it holds what it needs to hold. So this is, as you can see, this is where I put my wires, my capes my mirror and i have some a few razors floating up there the first tool i'm bringing out is my cordless magic clips and this tool is great for beginners for advanced um barbers it's not too expensive but it will give your professional haircut once you know how to use it this is the first clipper i ever bought my first professional clipper I've ever bought the others was like Walmart clippers I got from Amazon and now I'm right back to it I had a babeless clippers but no I had to come back to it after it broke next we have the babeless trimmers and these are hitters I want to have the full babeless line as you can see babeless is one of my favorite brands to use and I'll keep using it until I can't use it no more this is the skeleton the babeless skeletons pro fx tr you know trimmers and these are my babies man these are my hitters these are the slimline pros this was gifted to me by my friend for my past job shout out to him brian um these are softer than my my babeless um fx so i use these on young on kids and i use this on seniors and they're smaller so i could get into certain places easier and of course the shavers have to be a babyless brand as well Sorry, I have a lot of powder on this. Powder recently spilled in my bag and it's been a hassle trying to clean everything up. But this is the Babyless FX Shavers, the gold ones. I love gold. Everything in my arsenal will be gold at one point. But these are absolute hitters. They get super, super close. Using these with the trimmers to make that bog line, it just makes everything so crisp and it shows it, makes it pop much, much, much more. This is a calm headlamp. You don't need nothing crazy. I don't remember where I got this from. You just need some a little bit of light when you're doing house business because their lighting in their in their house might not be the best. So you don't want to be guessing where you're cutting. You want to know where you're cutting. Anyone would do. I don't remember where I got this one from, but I remember it was pretty cheap. This is a face mist that I got from Amazon. What it does is it vibrates liquid at a high frequency to get on a new certain layers of the skin. What I like using inside of it um, to help your skin is Witch Hazel. The one I'm using right here is the Dyer's or Thayer's Natural Remedies Facial Toner Witch Hazel Aloe Vera Formula with Cucumber. And it's alcohol free. So what this does, it really fights a lot of um, bacteria on your skin, inflammation. It fights a lot of bad stuff for your skin, which is going to leave your skin healthier. Um, what I use this for is when I'm using razors on the face for lineups, it will give me like a surface, a slippery surface. Um, so I'm not using gel that builds up and it's going to help with inflammation and all of the irritations on the skin up here is hairspray this I didn't really get anything specific I just went into the store and picked up anything with extra hole what this is gonna do this is gonna keep the hair in place so I can make the hairline more crispy when I hit it with the trimmer next up is something you absolutely need this is clipper size spray I was current I was I used to use cool care but I'm checking this one out I like this one because it gives me more of a wider spray so one push of the button feels like it covers more than the cool care which helps me to waste less of it next up is just some hair product this is from fat boy it's um sea salt putty I guess that's the name of it and it's a very light hold I use this after um whilst I'm blow drying the hair I put in the hair wet and it gives it a little bit of a hole, nothing crazy. 
this right here is some aftershave I got from Murmur Barber. I'm not sure the name, but it's Murmur or Murmur. And basically what this does, it replaces the alcohol that I would use to clean the skin and it gives a nice fresh scent. I put it inside a little bottle just for carrying convenience, but this is not the original packaging. This is just a little brush I used to clean my machines and equipment. Um, I got this because the normal brushes I was using was scraping the paint off of my trimmer and at the time my clipper, my fabulous gold effects. So I just bought this for a little bit more softness. This is a duster I got from Babyliss, a small one so I could fit in my case. And this material is more like plasticky, so it's kind of easier to clean. Another item I would use is stuff to kind of keep the hair in place. And right now, I, have, I don't know what these are called. They're strips, but they're from Babyliss Barbology. And I have two of them. I have a third one, but I'm not sure where those are. And just some normal clips for my clients with longer hair. So I could kind of get the my, my canvas, if you will, more organized for me to work on. And this is a um, oil that I put together. What it really does is it moisturizes the skin. After I do use, do a shave, I would use this. And it's basically for skin, hair, health. And the oils I put in it is going to be healthy for the skin, which as it would not clog the pores, which could cause acne and breakouts and all that other stuff. This is a neck strip that I use. It's not really a good brand, but it does the job. It's really just a barrier between your skin and the cape being used, so you're not trans uh, transferring dirt from one client's neck to another client's neck. This is some of the guards that I use. It's nothing special. I'm missing a number five, but I usually don't go that high. I love to use have all my guards still just because the more I have in my arsenal, the more I can use and the better the hair is going to come out. Although I could just use clipper over comb, which is sufficient when using guards that high. Next up is just a simple wide tooth comb, something that I use to detangle longer hair or any length of hair that needs a little bit more detangling for the clippers to go through. Um, after that, it's just a round brush. This is what I use on the longer hair again for comb over just to get that curve get that volume going um i just got this from a regular store nothing special about that after this is some i believe these are high top combs or flat top combs something like that but i use these for clipper over comb i have two different colors one of them have like these wiggly teeth and that's for grabbing the hair better I use two because just in case, just for contrast with darker and lighter hair. After that, just two combs, an all-purpose comb and a taper comb. Just general combs that you should have. I don't need too many, these two will suffice. This is just an ordinary um, small soft club brush. I got this from one of my fellow barbers, Jose, shout out to him. And whilst you're cutting, you just want something to kind of comb the hair back in place whilst you cut. Um, so these two are just two razor holders that I use. I was primarily using the 245 razor holder. Um, I loved it a whole lot more, but over time, I guess the razor started slipping out. I'm not sure if that's something from what I've been doing or if eventually it just wears out. But... I still love it, I still use it sometimes, and I prefer it because of the extra reach it gives me to get into certain areas. Up next is some shears I got from a lady that comes into our barber shop, and I believe she gave me a great deal on this. It was 80 something, and I think it cost like a good amount more, I'm not sure, but they're great. I believe they're 7 inches, and they cut like butter, I love them. Up next is some thinning shears or blending shears if you want to call it that. Um, and I love the color gold as you already know. I got it from the same lady, the same shop. Last but not least is the top compartment. The top compartment holds all the wires for all my machines. If you're on a house call you do not want to get caught lacking because more than likely the client's not going to have the wire you need for your machine and if you only carry one set of machines and it dies then you know that's it for the house call you either have to come back 
or you have to come back to be honest I will also hold a few of my razors in the top compartment also it holds my mirror this mirror is very special I got it from Amazon it's supposed to be a shatterproof or break proof mirror and it's dropped a few times and it's still going strong also a barber cape that I got from the shop I work at and this is just treat it like you're at the shop make sure your clients don't have hair all over them this is like number one key to a comfortable haircut and last but certainly not least i know i already said it but my bros tape is called the big bro tape it's on apple music go so show some support and download download it man if you got a subscription to apple music it takes nothing to download and it's fire trust me when i say it, it's fire i forgot to show this but on the bottom compartment on the top part where i keep my cones is a little side pouch you uh, you seen in the beginning of the video and i only have two things just a curl racket and a charger for the um the mist the portable mist spray that's it now that we took everything out the next step is of course to put everything back in let's speed this up a little bit but you'll still get the idea of how i keep my my portable barber home visit kit whatever you want to call it organized 